Okay, last time on The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, we can't throw out a spotlight. But I got caught and got thrown in jail. Just kidding, I, I, I did this on purpose so I could show you guys how to break out. Now, you climb up on this table like this. If you get caught, you do this. And then you jump across, climb up here. I recommend smashing this ruby pot. Dang, I don't know, I do not recommend doing that. It's not very, it's not really a good idea. Okay, now. Pick it up, smash it against the wall, get the rupee in it. What do you do with one rupee? Okay, and then slide across here. And it'll bring you out where you can get the dungeon map too, so that's a good idea. Get caught on purpose so you can get it. Okay, and it takes you out here. I recommend smashing all the parts again, just in case there's something in them. See, I got a blue rupee. That's worth five, if I remember right. Yay, one rupee! Okay, okay, your first wall you start out with, it can hold up to 200 rupees, so I can only hold 51 more. And this is the dungeon map. Okay then. And now, be sure you don't drop or you're just going to end up like you were last time. Oh, see, you should heat my work. Okay, well, there's a piece of part here, so maybe it's a good thing I felt. Okay, you throw those barrels. You want to drop down here, actually, so you can sneak past the guards anyway. You, you throw the barrels, press on this button, then you run in here, and in this fancy chest is a piece of heart. And if you get, and basically a piece of heart equals a quarter of a heart. And if you get four pieces, then you'll get another heart container, which is basically your health, if, you, if, this, if you're new to Zelda. Okay, now. I think barrels can't hold money, so let's just let me smash them all real quick. Yeah, that was right. So I recommend smashing all these barrels again, so... I mean, every rupee counts, because there's one point in the game where you're going to have to get tons and loads... You're going to have to get loads and loads and loads and loads of rupees. What are you looking at, fool? I'm not here, I'm just a barrel. Please go away now, I need to walk around. I'm just a moving barrel. Yeah, it, it, I, I'm not nothing to work. I don't... It, you don't have to worry about me, I'm not going to, like, attack you. Uh, what I like is later when you get your sword, you actually do get to fight those things, and I think that's pretty cool. Because they're fun to fight. Okay, wait for him to slowly go away. I shouldn't have done that, should I? What? No! How could you cut me? Oh, you cut my barrel on fire! Okay, well, I got thrown in jail again. And I'm gonna cut this part out so I can record for 13 minutes, yay! video in there by the time you see it obviously not by the time you see this video obviously not but it's the first part of the Wind Waker walkthrough and and I like I said I have Windows Movie Maker and it takes years to, just for one video to upload so I'm, I'm planning on getting the Pinnacle Studios 12 Ultimate because I hear that's a good one at least from reviews on the internet that I saw so either that or the Sony Vegas I don't know Okay. I think I go through this door. I didn't really check the brazier. No, well, I don't care if I have to go through this door because this is where a spotlight is, I think. Yeah. Right up here. Yeah, it'll shine, like, right there when you're trying to slide across, and then if you get caught, you get thrown in jail. Community prison. Okay. Ah, oh, she wanted to give me a hint. Hello, Petra. 
Um, yeah, I think, I think I already kind of explained that to my viewers. You don't have to waste our time here. Please just go away. No one likes you. You're being annoying. She has a point. You can't use your shield. Luckily, lucky your shield's strapped onto your back, unlike your sword. that can just fall out. You can pick up the pot and throw it at him. Or you can just pick up a stick from it. Or you can just block the blows with the shield. Oh, and he dodged it. Stick fight. Stick fight. Now I'm just doing this because it's more epic. Stick fight. I said stick fight. This isn't a stick fight. It's a stick massacre. Oh, come on. That's not fun. Okay. Now one more to go. And it's that one over there. So what path should I pick? Well, down there, okay. Well, that doesn't really help much because I don't know how the heck to get down there. I haven't did a practice run of this in a while either. I mean, I beat it, like, it's January of this year, but no, nah, that's not too recent, so. And, of course, the one I took out is the one that I needed to do. So now, let's go back to, from where we came from and go to that other door. I think we can get to it from there. At least hopefully. And yay, the black bars only come out when I'm entering another room now. Isn't that great? So now we don't have to worry about uh, now we don't have to worry about the stuff in the gameplay. And then it actually looks cool because it's like black stripes on white. So What's up here? I don't even really remember. Oh, what's worth a minute is the- remember that one time? If there was a box at the end of my last video. You can push it down so if you fall off at the- Hey, I found it! So, like I was saying, if you fall off at the- at that point there, you can just, from the very beginning where the- from the- the very beginning of the Forsaken Fortress, you can just climb back up. Haha, you drop your stick. Now it's just gonna be Stick Massacre again, haha. Oh, you just got owned, haha, you- you vaporize in mid-air. They usually don't do that. That's cool when they do that. Okay. And now, go back down the ladder. Because we don't want you to use the ladder. I may as well show what I mean with the spotlight and stuff. So. I mean, not the spotlight. What am I talking about? I mean, idiotic now. Okay, see that spot down there with the rupees? Yeah, like, th there's a, up there, you can push a box down, so if you fall off there, somewhere, anywhere, really, you can, you start out down there. You can just climb the whole, you can just climb the whole way up those stairs, and boom, the box will be right there, and then there's a ladder, too, so you just climb up the box, and up the ladder, and you'll be back to almost the very end of the dungeon, right there, so, it's always a good idea to do that. Yay, black stripes on white. Okay, now. Wait, where did I- where did I- where did I take myself? Why did I- Ah! Uh, see this- remember when I told you about those mini moblins? I mean, mini demon things? This is what I was talking about when I said that. And I don't have a sword, so I can't fight back! Uh, I'm just a defenseless child, how could you do something like this to me? It's not fair! Run away! Hey! Oh my god. Walk very slowly. That was a close one. And now of course he's coming to check me out. That didn't really sound right. Just go away. Go away now. That's my dog playing with his bone. Doesn't really look too bad on the camera, does it? Okay, just go away. Go away, piggy. When I get my sword, I promise I'll make mincemeat at you. Well, I don't really like that mincemeat. I like, I prefer ham. Okay, walk slow. This one's coming in facing my way, so maybe I should stop. Okay, they smell me. Go away, pork rind. Go the other way. Turn around. 
Why don't you listen to me? Okay, well, that's it for this vi video, guys. See you next time.